Y'all, let's talk about sisters real quick before it gets pitch black out here, okay? I came out here before the sunset just for y'all. So be sure to like the video if you enjoy it. I know it's late. Like, I ain't making no excuses all summer. Like, it, 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 it's summertime. <laughs> like, you know, it, it is what it is. Like, thank y'all for still riding with me if you've been rocking with me thus far. So... We're going to do person by person because y'all know I don't really take notes for Tyler Perry sisters anymore until it gives me what I need. I'm just going, but this episode was good now, considering, because we got a lot going on with Karen and Danny. Let's just get into it. So I'm going to start off. Who do I want to start off with, honey? Uh, Let's do honorary sister, Gary. Okay. <laughs> Gary done sat there and shook Andy up. Andy has got the she got to be the worst lawyer I have ever seen in my entire life. Okay. It don't take nothing to scare her. Like she fall off of anything. She see an edited photo. She don't she don't ask no questions. She loose lipped. Like she can't hold water. She just you know he done cornered her in the parking lot in the parking garage by her car. She don't look around, make sure the coast is clear. Nothing. She don't nothing. Like she don't do none of that. So <laughs> After he told her, like, look, basically, you're going to marry me or else because I had a bug and you're, going to, you're not going to testify because you're going to be my wife. She went in there. I said I was going to talk about Gary, child. We're going to do Andy and Gary simultaneously. So Andy in the office all shook up. She don't know what to do. Penelope called her. She's like, I can't wait to get him. Andy, don't say nothing. You talk too much when you shouldn't be talking. You don't talk when you should be. I'm a little tired of Andy. Is it just me? So while she's sitting there, don't know what to do. Maybe I'm going to just jump ahead. She go ahead later on in the day because she was trying to talk to Fatima. But, you know, Fatima, Fatima, she got too much going on with Zach's business. It's never really her business that got her stressed. It's always Zach's problems that got her stressed. So Zach bothering her because he can't function. He, she like his mother. Like, you know, when you like, oh, mama, like, who do I, how do I make a doctor's appointment? Like, how do I do this? Like, who do I call for a dentist appointment? Like, he like that. He, he, he like an adult child in the house. She got to, to care for him. Okay. But anywho, <laughs> so Andy can't talk to her girl, Fatima. She ain't talking to Karen right now. She, listen, she, she's just so shook up. She don't know what to do. So she go break up with Jordan. Don't give no hint. Like, look, like Gary. You know, Gary got me. Like, nothing. She's just like, I know. He's like, I'm not told you I loved you. I meant it. And she's like, I know, but it's over. And he's like, what? How? Why? <laughs> Child, how much? We got to get Gary up out of here. Gary has lasted so long. Like, his storyline has lasted so long. Like, I feel like Tyler, he's Tyler's favorite. Because he's finding different ways to flip his character to make him stay on the show. It's crazy. So, meanwhile, Gary minding his business, trying to see what Andy got going on. But here comes Tamara. Instead of pretending like she actually liked Hayden, she wondering what, what Gary doing. He like, oh, you thought that little tape, that edited tape, what, was that? The, that's what you, you thought that was going to get me. You thought you was doing something with that. And she like, oh, no, like, yeah, that, that's not blackmail. It's child. He ran up to her, kissed her, and he was like, yeah, I knew I could have you. Like, you trash, you lose, you all this. Like, you ain't worth nothing. Like, cause she tried to, you know, tell him that he need to pay her. Like, he need to give her 25, I think it was like 25,000. He's like, girl, I ain't giving you 25 cents. And then he kissed her, and he's like, I know I got you right where I want you. Like, this ain't even, this ain't even worth my time. Like, <laughs> this ain't even fun nor interesting, okay? You ain't even on my level, for real. So he got her up out of there. Next, we got Sabrina. Maurice down at the bank, you know, complaining about his man, just trying to have, trying to find a problem. I don't know. He just trying to have an issue. He inappropriately flirting, you know, going back and forth with his colleagues and his coworkers, not doing no work. Like he think that if Sabrina branch manager, he can do what he want to do, honey. Ciao. Sabrina, you might have to let Maurice go. I know you fought to get him back, but it might be time to, to let him go because he. He gonna have you mess around, have you losing your job. Okay, I'm just saying. So, let me see, that's all like when I'm outside because I be nosy because I'm looking at what my neighbor's doing. I need to focus. Let me, I'm here with y'all. Anywho, <laughs> so she in there and then some mysterious man come, 
you know, because they ain't doing nothing. So why not? He claims he works for the bank and he wants to do an interview for her. He knows all about her history. He said where he work at, but she ain't asked to see no credentials. She didn't pull him up on the directory. She didn't look to the fact check and verify that he actually worked for the company. She ain't do nothing. He said he want to do an interview. She said, let's go to my office. He said, let's, let's go to dinner. And she was just like, okay. La, 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 la. She's so gullible and naive. Child, just, just out. Out there, girl. <laughs> so while she out on this dinner date, so-called interview, her man who don't want to have no babies and don't want to get married, even though she wants to have babies and wants to get married, and I don't know why they're together, and I'm quite sick of him. He just so happens to pop up and be there at the right place at the right time in Atlanta, coincidentally. So he sees her, and she ends up telling, because she was telling the guy who was interviewing her that she wanted to have a baby. He's like, yeah, he want to have a baby, and she was talking about doing it on her own. And he, so when Rich came up, he was like, yeah, she told me y'all having a baby. She was like, no, I'm doing it by myself. So he was, you know, he like, oh, his antennas went up like, oh, you got a man who's about to make you a single mother? Now, why would you do that when I'm here? <laughs> now, Sabrina be pulling them, okay? She had African princes, like, okay, don't sleep on your girl. She always just picks wrong. Her picker is off. Like, why is Rich still in the picture? He should have been gone. And I hope this is a way to end his character and, and move him. I saw he was on another on another BET show. Let him go on somewhere else. I, I had enough. The story don't make no sense. Speaking of him, his friend, Daniela's man. <laughs> Daniela. So, Danny is a child. Danny, the stepmother, how much longer? Because she another one. This ain't going to work. And it's not because I do kind of like her with Tony. I do. But those bad kids, it's not going to work. I don't think she has the patience to do it. So, oh, it's fine. Somebody walking a dog. I got my, I took my glasses off so I can't see. So I'm like, is my son trying to get my attention? Nah, child, somebody mind any business. Anywho. <laughs> so she at the house, at her apartment, you know, because we don't never see where these men live. We don't know where Tony live. We ain't seen his house. Do he have a house? Who knows? These men always come to her studio apartment. They don't go on no dates, nothing. They just come to her apartment and that's it. But uh, this time his ex-wife came and she was like, yeah, um, my husband. And she had to keep telling her like, he's not your husband anymore. I think that alone would make me, in I need some character development. I need backstory. I need some building with Tony. Cause why? She's saying my husband, my husband. So he's the one that filed for divorce? Why? What was the reason? I need clarity on that. When did he get divorced? How long has it been? It's Tyler Perry land. We ain't never gonna find child. We don't we speaking of Tyler Perry. Shameless plug, but Wednesday, this Wednesday, I'm going live at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're gonna talk about that new movie. And I wanna see y'all in the chat. So make sure that you meet me there, okay? And don't be late. And I'll try to not be late too. But he don't do no character development with these characters. So I'm like, oh, y'all, you know, people are like, just, just going, that's all over. Okay, so now back to it. <laughs> so he don't do no development with the characters. We don't know why she's still in love with him, but she is. So she said, okay, what's this? And it was a vape pen, okay? And she was like, that's my vape pen. How did you get it? And she's like, my daughter got it. Now, you know, her daughter got a little sticky finger. She liked to, she liked to pick things up that don't belong to her. So she like, you, you need to watch my, uh, you watch your things when you're around my child. You're not paying attention to my child. And Danny like, no, you need to watch your child. Why is your child stealing? And I see both sides. I do see both sides. Both sides make sense to me because your child is the one that's to get, get your child. The Danny, if you're going to have the child, the kids around you got to pay attention to these kids. Kids are sneaky. All this, because she was, <laughs> later on, she was with Tony, and she was like, yeah, and the real issue with the parents, with that little fast little girl, like, no, watch it now, you're taking it too far. And if I was Tony, I'd be like, okay, now, <laughs> this ain't going to work, because you talking crazy. But she was like, look, you need to watch a fast child. I blame the parents for not raising the girl right. And I'm like... You can raise your kids, right? They still, sometimes, and I think this is the case here, they're going to do what they want to do. And I think that's what she's doing, what she want to do. She likes to just pick up stuff. She keeps doing it. 
they do need to get this girl under control. So Danny and Tony get into it because she like, look, because he was like, well, I mean, but this goes to, goes back to my point of you do need to watch when my kids are in your presence or they're in your home, you need to watch them. So she like, well, you blaming me for this? Like, you're blaming me? Like, she's mad about it. I don't, they need to go to some couples counseling. They need to go to therapy together. I don't know how much longer this is going to last. I really don't. But I think Danny's going to try to make it last longer than it should just to prove a point to the wife just so that the wife the ex-wife don't win she don't want her to one up her or to win so she i think she's gonna try to make this drag on when it shouldn't it really should end and really he should have been with sabrina i keep saying that but it is what it is <laughs> so that's over with but they we're not done with danny yet because she actually comes to karen's shop and had her and karen have a much needed conversation that they should have had seasons ago so Danny tells her like, look, cause Karen was like, you know what? I can't trust you. You went behind my back. You told Zach to get a paternity test on me because I was loose in college. Like, well, was she, was she wrong? She, yo, you did need a paternity <laughs> She was wrong, but Zach is her friend and she, he did need the paternity test. He wasn't about to do it. He needed to do it. But anyway, <laughs> that's besides the point. <laughs> so she was like, you told Zach to get a fraternity test. Like, you all, you friends with Fatima. You always picking everybody else aside. You told my business before I could tell it. That's my problem with her. That's that's why I side with Karen. She did tell Sabrina when it was not her business and not her place to tell. She shouldn't have done that. And sorry, so I'm going to turn on the light. She shouldn't have done that. That wasn't her place. And Karen said she's not trustworthy. And she's like, not trustworthy? Hold on. Yeah, not trustworthy. You're loose lip with my business. All I need is one time for you to not be trustworthy, period. And Danny was like, look, I have resentment towards you. And I'm glad she kept it all the way, 100. That's why Danny, my favorite. She's like, I'm at, you treated me like I'm dirt, scum in the earth, dirt on the bottom of your shoe. Like I'm the one that's holding the friend group back. It's been that way since college. It's been that way since season one. You could always tell that Karen didn't really fool with Danny like that. And she was like, you know what? You saying I'm one of your best friends, but the way you treat me, I don't like the way you treat me. And so, yeah, I had a little, I was being a little bit petty when I was running my mouth. I was, because of resentment from how you treat me. And Karen was like, you know what? I receive it. Why don't you say something? And she's like, I tried. But when you know how you are, it's your way out the highway. Okay. You don't want to hear nothing else. If ain't nobody agreeing with you. And they both agreed because she was like, and Danny was like, you know what? I am a little childish and I shouldn't have said anything. They both seen each other's side. They hug it out. They say they love each other. Great. But I, I don't. I like Danny and Fatima as friends. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I like them as friends. I know it throws off the sister circle and all this nonsense. And Karen herself was like, look, in another world, in another lifetime, me and Fatima probably would have been friends. But we both had Zach. Now, the only reason she's saying that is because she's not fully over Zach. Because if she was over Zach, baby, listen, <laughs> you get with somebody and I ain't with him. No, it'd be one thing if you were my friend all along. Like if Danny got with Zach, which I thought was going to happen seasons ago and that would have been messy. That's different. But if I met you like after the fact, like me and him broke up and I met you, like you're his new girlfriend and we met that way. I, I don't have no issue. Like, I don't have no problem. Like, we can, girl, we can kick it. Like, it's over with. Like, I don't want him no more. That is your man. Look, I don't even know that man no more. I don't even know him. I know how, who he used to be. I don't know him today's day. That's your man, girl. You got it. Okay? We can be just fine. Listen, girl, okay? and especially if you're going to be around my kids. So, yeah. But that's just me. They ain't there yet. I think they can get there eventually if Karen actually moves on. It's not like men don't be. They be wanting her nine months pregnant at all. Now, Karen also was on the phone with her mama. And she was like, she was venting because she was like, I'm broke. Once again, my insurance lapped. Once again, I'm always financially strapped and penny pinching once again. And Pam was running up my credit card with her rags of riches nonsense. And she was like, I almost feel like I'm hating. I'm jealous. Like, and the mama was like, well, you know what? I mean, you should get a piece of the pie. You should get a cut because she was using your stuff. Do I think that she's a little bit jealous of Pam? Because Pam is like, I'm a businesswoman. Her stuff is taken off. Yes. And then Pam got the guy who she didn't even want. But it's, you know, sometimes you don't want him, but you see, she sees somebody else with him. So she's like, well, wait a minute. So that's another thing. And it's like, you use my money and you, yeah. So she might feel away. 
Your mom was right though. She should get a little cut. Because if you was my company card for this and you're doing this on company hours on my time, I deserve a cut. But I need to know why Karen's always so broke. I need to know why Karen is always so broke. What is going on? Didn't, didn't Zach cover all of the previous? I, she didn't even have the babies yet. Girl, if you think you, you strapped now, you gonna have two babies at the same time? Girl, close the shop now and go ahead on Indeed and get you a nine to five, honey. Go ahead and go and get LinkedIn and get you a regular job. You gonna need it. You need some insurance because this ain't gonna work. And <laughs> all this broke and robbing Peter to pay for it's not gonna cut it. Okay, it's just not. And I don't know what's that doing from income besides having one tenant. That's not gonna be enough child support. It just ain't. Okay. So. Speaking of Zach, because she called him and she was like, I want you to come. I want both my daddy, baby daddies there when I get an ultrasound. I can only imagine how it is having a, a man on each side. And it's like, okay, dads, here's the babies. And then I'm like, oh, shout. Karen, how you even allow this? Girl. <laughs> and then she's talking about Fatima can come. And then mom was there like, listen, it's a full house. It's a little crowded in that room. It's a little too many people up in there, up in there. But Okay. So, she's like, she can come or whatever. And Zach called, but she was busy with work, you know. So, he was like, I got to get a babysitter. Who should I call? She like, figure it out. And I wish she would keep telling him to figure it out. Or she wouldn't be getting D's and F's in her classes for law school. Okay? Because, you know, he don't care about her higher, her education, and being a businesswoman. He don't care about that. Okay? As long as she's taking care of him. So, then, I forgot. Well, I think her name Deja. Watch Jazzy. And yeah, Deja, whoever. She was coming, tenant coming late. She owns the team, but I don't watch the team, but I know she over there. She was like, look, I'm late for the rent. And he was like, you know what? Come come watch Michael, basically. And you don't got to worry about them late fees. So she watched him, but Fatima don't like her. So she come back. And she like, why was this girl in my house? So she was like, you know, I'm sorry I wasn't there. And it's like, girl, he need to start being there for you a little bit. You don't need to be there for everything. Matter of fact, let him deal with his baby mama drama and all this stuff. Let, let, let him do some of this by himself. You don't need to be there every step of the way. Like, this is getting ridiculous. Kind of glad you picked work this time. But I think I got everything. I think I did. Yeah, so both of the baby daddies was there. You know, Aaron and Zach is like brother husbands and <laughs> Fatima. Let me just run it, run it down, make sure Fatima... I always worry about Zach and his baby mama's got to be following behind him. Andy going to be boo-boo the fool with Gary. Danny about to lose her man because she reckless at the mouth talking about his child. His child is bad. Mm. <laughs> Sabrina about to get her a new man. She's fertile. Sabrina now, you don't want to be in the, in the Karen situation now. I'm just saying because you're fertile. I feel like I'm missing somebody still. Karen, Andy, Sarah, Pam. Child, whoever I miss, let me know in the comments, child. It's dark now. I got to go. <laughs> but I'll see y'all on Wednesday to talk about uh, divorcing the black. Okay, bye.